So today I'm going to be doing a video on what's in my barber bag, so you guys stay tuned. All right, here we go. This is what is in my barber bag. So, as you can see, I've got quite a few things here. I have to keep quite a few things in my barber bag as I go to school because, to be honest with you, on a day-to-day -day basis, we may not know exactly what is being thrown at us. So, I just want to share with you a couple different things I've got in my barber bag. Of course, I've got a whole array of different combs and brushes and those sort of things. So let's just go over a couple of different of the combs here. This is a nice taper comb. This is a carbide taper comb. It is chemical resistant and so forth. I really like these. Uh, they help out really close to uh, getting around the ear and those sort of things like that. The taper comb's pretty nice. It's not something I use a whole lot of, but I do uh, use it. This is your barber comb right here and one way you can tell the difference between your barber comb and your taper comb obviously there's definitely an obviously a difference there between the two as far as how much taper is on the comb but also you have your numbers in inches here so this is also a good tool if somebody can't visualize not just the barber but your client can't visualize how much an inch is okay we're going to take off an inch of hair so forth so on three inches so forth so on so that is a good example of that. Also, I really like this comb for my clipper work, my clipper over comb work. This is a really nice comb to do that with. I also use this comb for clipper over comb, this comb, and as well as these combs here. The lighter color ones work really great on dark hair and vice versa, lighter color hair. I like to use some of my darker combs. So that is pretty much the combs let's look at some of the clippers so i do have some you know cordless clippers i've also got the corded clippers now i'm going to give you my take on those and i hope uh, some people don't get mad at me but i'll be honest with you i do prefer the ones that plug in to their counterparts which are the cordless we'll get into a little bit of that why i don't like those as well here in just a few moments but that's my take on it. I do use them both, but I lean more heavily toward the corded clippers. Call me old school, call me whatever, but that is really the way that it is with me. And uh, just give you an idea about the differences in these clippers and how they work, okay? So, all right, so let's take a little bit deeper dive into the clipper aspect of what is in my kit and why I've chose what I've chosen, why I use what I use, okay? In this, let's look at our Babyliss clipper. So these are the Babyliss Fast Feeds. They got the lever on the side. We'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a moment. These are the Babyliss uh, FX Gold T outliners or outliners or uh, edgers. Okay, then we have, these are not clippers, but these are the balders that I have, just a single full, the Unos by Gamma. Really enjoy those as well. This is the Oster 76s, another set of fast feeds with the lever on the side. This is the Wall Senior uh, Sterling Edition. This is uh, plastic here, but this is all metal here. Really nice set of clippers. So let's get into the pros and cons of why I use what I use, what I prefer. Okay, so these are very good clippers. Don't get me all wrong, okay? Do not misunderstand me. I'm not saying they're a bad clipper at all. They're a good clipper. I prefer things that plug into the wall. Now, there's some upsides and downsides to that. These give you a lot of freedom. These give you the mobility. If mobility is an issue for you and you don't like being tethered to the wall, this is a good option. They're pretty powerful uh, for what they are. In my opinion, they don't have, there's nowhere near the same power as something that can plug into an electrical outlet. 
just not quite there yet. Now, as far as my T outliners, I always use these. These do give me a lot of range of motion. I've got a lot of mobility with these. I do prefer these. Anytime uh, I'm doing any kind of lineup, this is my go-to. I don't use the ones that plug into the wall because these have enough power and they deliver enough power for what I'm wanting to do. I don't have to worry about with the ones that plug in, I don't have to worry about running out of power or running out of battery rather, okay? These, you don't use them nowhere near as long as these. You probably wouldn't have to charge these more than once a day. You know, once in the morning when you come in, you take them off the charger, you should be good to go with these pretty much all day long. And if you're not, you can plug them in and get them charged up because you're not using them nowhere near as long as you are your regular clippers. So that's kind of the pros and cons to these real quickly. I do prefer the Osters over even the fast feeds. I've used them both and I'm gonna tell you why I prefer them. Now, some guys like to use the ones that, um, the fast feeds, they come with the combs that you can use. And even though we're doing a lot of clipper over comb, some guys still prefer to use these uh, as a guideline to work the hair. Now, I'm gonna give you the pros and cons. They come in various different sizes. If you've been around uh, barbering for any time, you are know these. Most people that aren't even in the business recognize these as comb and attachments to give you the different sizes that uh, you can work up to on a graduated or a fade cut, okay? Now, here's my deal with these. These are all well and good, but to me, they cause you a lot of work. And the reason I say that is, is when they're against the scalp and they're going and they're cutting the hair, they tend to leave what I call plow marks. You've seen corn planted early spring and you see all those plow marks where well, they leave those and then you have to keep trying to erase those and going over that section and going over that section and going over that section to achieve a blend. Now that is why I prefer the Oster 76s because it seems to me that I don't have to do all that work with these particular clippers and the reason i'm saying that is is you can't get a comb for these but you can also get now this is what's inside this bag here are all the different blades now this is not all the different blades but this is most of the different blades that you can get for the oster 76s and this is a detachable system that works uh with you know all metal attachment blades some of them i do have one that has a, this one right here has a ceramic insert for the cutting blade and i'll get into that i do prefer the metal in my opinion uh, again this is all subjective and opinionated to what works for you but you can work these, you can leave them turned on while you actually take the blades off, change out blades. It's as simple as reattaching the other blade, popping it up and it works, it goes. So you can do your whole fade with these different attachments on here if you're trying to do a real tight uh, fade. And I do prefer the 76s out of all of them. That is my opinion and that's why I like them. I'm not gonna lose power. I'm not gonna lose a charge because I'm plugged into the wall. I think that these give me a better fade. Again, that's my opinion. Uh, your mileage may vary. Some of the other things I do have in my barber kit is my razor. Now this doesn't have a razor in it, but this one is a particular razor that's made by a company called Dark Stag. Now the reason I like it is, I'll show you, this has no blade in it right now, okay? So there's a couple of different reasons I like it over the one that come with my kit, which this is the one that comes with the standard barber kit where we go. And how you place a blade in there is you lift up the little section there, pop your blade in, your little tabs there, bring it down, close it up, there's your blade, it's in, right? To me, that's a lot of work. I'm gonna show you, these are the blades that come with uh, our kits. And they are, <clears throat> And they are a whole blade. Now this is the half, but when I say they're a whole blade, most people don't know this. So I'm just showing this to you in case you don't know. They come as a whole blade. And most of 
the razors that are out there on the market now take half blades not all of them but most razor blades do and how you do this is you just break them apart you grab them while they're still in the pack pop them and break that blade and then you tear that in half and you got a half of a blade there and then you just stick your other one back in the box to use later so instead of just getting 100 blades you actually get 200 because you're breaking them in half so you get quite a few blades now i don't prefer these blades they're okay they're not the worst but they're definitely not the best so this is the blade and on this you have two different options to being able to load this blade and this is why I like this one is just because you can clamp this just by pushing the ends here and it opens up your section. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to get it close. When I squeeze the back end, it opens this up. And then <clears throat> you can lay your blade right in to to your razor and there you go now, there's another way that you can load this and you can actually take the whole piece apart you still have your two stubs there you lay your blade in and then slide it and lock it back in then your blade is loaded and that's the reason i chose to go with this particular dark stag i just like it better because it's heftier it's it's just bulkier it's heavier let the weight do its job and the way that it actually loads the blade into it versus this style i think this one's just a little bit more cumbersome now i do actually have a another system that is called a shavette and let me show you it and uh, you see here it's made by a company called dovo shavette uh, made in germany these company has been making razors for a really long time they make your traditional cartridge style uh, or i call them a cartridge style they're not really a cartridge style but your double blade disposable blades and how this one loads is, is you're going to again break those tabs and then this one loads in here on these two tabs on this side here there's two tabs if you can see a tab there and here and it lays right over those tabs then you just fold your end there it is and then that gives you your exposure then you just load it in here push it and it's loaded it's ready to go so that is the dovo i go with this a little bit more it's just a little bit heavier duty i like it a little bit better but those are the ones that i have as far as my razors now Another couple of things that we have in here, some grippers. These are just basically their Velcro is what they are. And then on top of that, I have got my neck strips here for sanitary reasons and to keep the hair off people's necks. Then I've got a different assortment of pomades, those sort of thing. Also the military style boar bristle brush. I like that pretty well and then these are rat tail combs <clears throat> use these right here uh, for a lot of coloring and sectioning hair they're really good for that that's the metal one the kit actually comes with these plastic ones these are pretty decent uh, i just prefer this particular one now as far as whenever you're doing a razor or a full face shave parasso makes some really good shaving cream they've also got the pre-shave this is uh some good stuff. like your cape here you've got you know over here i've got my apron that sort of stuff so a lot of different things that we've got in our kit now one of the things we do not want to forget about is our shears so what kind of shears do i have let's take a look so let's take a look at the shears that i have now the shears that i have so i got a couple of different texturizing shears here i really like these um this is a more coarse blade. I've got a finer blade here. This is a much finer blade. See the difference there? And then I got one more. That's, I've got another set here that's a heavier, coarser, much coarser blade. So I've got a couple of different selections here 
on these. Now the kit come with a horrible set of thinning shears. They're absolutely horrible. So uh, you would probably definitely want to get you a different set. All right, so these are my go-to shears right here. These are Rocket Dogs by a company called Cricket. And these are my go-to as far as shears go. Seven inch shear, I like them really well. Need to get a new finger insert there, but uh, they're a good set of shears. Really good set of shears, I enjoy those. And then I have, these are a Sally's. Uh, I don't know that they're a Sally's brand, but I got them at Sally's. And I like these pretty well as too. These are, uh, they're a five, I think a five and a half on these they may be a six inch but i do prefer a longer set of shears just because i've got bigger hands and then the kit come with uh, a set that are not too bad so that's pretty much what i have in my kit until next time appreciate you guys hanging out with me and checking out what we have in our barber bag